In a world where humans and peppers coexist, there stands a man, a man who shall conquer them all. His first challenge, the habanero. One man, one pepper, one toilet. No! Factoid. Habaneros come in a variety of colors and range from 100,000 to 350,000 on the Scoville scale. Now the man who dares to take the challenge, the binge. Hello guys, welcome back. Ignore the noise. <laughs> so welcome back to my channel. Um, tonight we're gonna do something different. Um, you guys see me do the Carolina Reaper challenge with some peppers and uh, some wings. Tonight we're gonna do a straight pepper. We're gonna start off with a little habanero. This is probably gonna be a new series we're gonna do with different types of peppers and stuff like that since I do love spice and heat and um, somewhat of a masochist maybe. I don't know, who knows? Uh, look at my dating profile. Uh, so you know, without further ado, we're gonna do it. As you see, there is no milk in front of me because I figured, why not, you know what I'm saying? What's the worst that gonna happen? So yeah, so I'm being a little festive tonight. A little sombrero, colorful sombrero, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, um, I'd like to welcome you guys to my new place. Um, we are just gonna get right into it, guys. So remember to like, subscribe, hit the smash button, smash that like button, because I know if you guys like and subscribe, because if not, I will find you and I will harass you until you do it. Just kidding, I won't harass you. YouTube gets all crazy about that, like harassment thing. But if you guys know me, you guys know I hate your DMs. All right, so this is the first time I've ever gonna eat like a straight habanero pepper. I always eat habanero pepper sauce uh, with seasoning, habanero like extracts um, between ghost peppers and all that stuff, but we're gonna work our way up and stuff like that. I, I was gonna probably do like a jalapeno, but who doesn't eat jalapenos? If jalapenos are really spicy for you, then I mean, I guess you have to work your tolerance up and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, ooh, so. Here we go, so this, as you guys know, the little factoids about habaneros. Um, this one's pretty ripe. It is um, pretty good condition. I had it refrigerated for a while and then I left it out for pretty much like a week. So it's gotten like pretty, pretty good. Like when I first got it, it wasn't as orange. So now I know it's nice and hot. Um, as you can tell, I haven't altered anything. I haven't like drained anything out and stuff like that. So it's full of its nice juices and peppers and little seeds in it. Um, uh, if you're a chili head, you know that the seeds are the hottest point, the hottest part of the pepper. So I'm just gonna like, go to town with it. So without further ado, wish me luck. Here we go. So let's go. <clears throat> Overall, mouth spiciness is building up. Kind of hits the back of the throat. <clears throat> Coating the thumb. <clears throat> it's like, it's building up. The Reaper wings, which is the constant barrages immediately. There's like a slow build up. It almost hurts to talk. Here's the back of the throat. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hot. <clears throat> oh boy. What about that asshole Evan you were talking about? <clears throat> yeah, so Evan, when I talk so much crap about the heat, 
I have one just for you right here. Hands are even tingling, endorphins rushing right now. You wanna talk about heat? Here's heat for you, bro. So I'm, e so I'm initially a challenge for you, Evan Fillion. Wanna talk about the heat? Let's go. I got one just for you, here just for you. So when you come swing through, oh, wow, my hands are tingling. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, 